World leaders unite on sanctions against Russia. At the group of seven summit, US and German leaders Barack Obama and Angela Merkel have vowed to maintain pressure on the Kremlin until militant forces backed by regular Russian troops in Ukraine fully adhere to the Minsk ceasefire agreement. The 14-month conflict in Ukraine dominated the agenda at the annual conference this year hosted in southern Germany. The US president also attempted to influence other heads of state to maintain sanctions on Russia. That included British Prime Minister David Cameron. We'll be talking about Russia and Ukraine and the importance of us maintaining uh, the sanctions regime to put pressure on Russia uh, and separatist forces uh, to implement fully the Minsk Agreement. We think that there can be a peaceful diplomatic resolution to this problem, uh, but it's going to require uh, that Europe and the United States and the transatlantic partnership as well as the world stay vigilant and stay focused on the importance of upholding the principles of territorial uh, integrity and sovereignty. EU leaders agreed in March that sanctions would effectively be extended until the end of the year. A formal decision on this has yet to be taken. European Council President Donald Tusk said Russia's admission to the G7 depends on its behaviour. All of us uh, would prefer to have Russia around the G7 table. In fact, G8, if that is why Russia was invited in the 90s. But our group is not only the political or uh, economic uh, group of interest, but first of all, this is a community of values. And that is why Russia is not among us here today and will not be invited as long as it behaves aggressively against Ukraine and other countries. Russia was frozen out of what used to be the G8 after Moscow's annexation of Crimea last year.